Hello, I'm Bood and welcome to episode 36 of my Manchester Central series. Thanks for joining me. Um, it's episode 36, the fourth summer special. I don't know what's special about it. It's no party or anything. There's it's no like fireworks. It's just the summer and we talk about what's been going on in between seasons. And this has got to be, I'll be honest with you, the most excited I've been because we've done really well. We've had successive promotions. But now we're in the championship, I'm hoping we're going to start being a bit more challenged because we keep just punching above our weight, I think. And just My young players get better, we've made some great signings and I'm just really positive and excited. Uh, the summer's been okay, we've had a pre-season, we've signed some players, we've let some players go, we've sold some players. There's a couple of transfers still going on at the time of this video as well. Uh, bits of news to tell you about. I've been offered a job in the Premier League, um, which was crazy. Uh, <laughs> not one of the big teams, but it's still mental to get offered a Premier League job. So we're going to go through all that. And I'm just happy you've joined me for this. So don't forget to smash that like button for me. Also, hit that bell. There's a bell somewhere in there that reminds you when episodes come out. How good's that? Uh, also, if you're new, feel free to subscribe. Go check out the series, my central series. Uh, we're still currently Manchester's third team. But you never know. As the series goes on long enough, we might become number one. Uh, I've got loads of other videos, guides, tutorials, um, and fun videos out there as well, so check all them out. Right, should we get started? We've played six games in pre-season, um, not been on any tours, not had any tournaments. I played one game um, against the lower team, which is Stockport. All these games were away as well. Um, and then the rest of the games I've played against championship teams to test us out, which has been been interesting, so I can't wait to tell you, but the first game we played was at Edgeley Park, a stadium I love Edgeley Park. If you ever go to Stockport, Manchester, don't go to Old Trafford, don't go to the Etihad, go to Edgeley Park, that you'll experience a proper game, you'll think it's non-league football, the place will be packed, singing, pies at half time, have a drink, it's that proper football, it's such a great family club. And if you go and ask them, they'll let you have a tour on your own around the freaking stadium. I did. Well, the first game, all the way as well, I went to challenge ourselves um, against the championship teams. It was against Derby. Um, and I don't know how we lost this. We, we, we played better. We had the better of them throughout the game. They had some better average ratings. But I think we played better. Um, they scored a goal in the 25th minute, and that was it, 1 0. Next, we went to Yorkshire to play Barnsley, and we lost again. Um, and again, we had more chances. Pretty even on the ball. It was just unlucky. We were unlucky to lose. They scored two goals in five minutes. Something like that. <laughs> just one of those things. Next up, we went to the North East to play in Middlesbrough, um, and it was a nil niler. And again, we should have won. So, a lot of these games, stat wise, I feel like we should be winning. But we're not. So, I'm just hoping maybe this is pre season. Not all the lads are on the ball at the minute. But um, when it comes out of business, when the league kicks off, I'm hoping we step up again. Next, we played Aston Villa at the brilliant, awesome Villa Park. I've been there. Great stadium. I love it. I think it was designed and built by the same people who built uh, Rangers Stadium. I brought it. has got a big brick front. I, I love I love Villa Park. I love Villa. I like Villa a lot, me. Um, I grew up when they were good. I remember winning the Champions League. That's all I am. Anyway, um, yeah, we beat them 3-2. And the last game, and the one game I am devastated about, because I'm a Manchester United fan, uh, was Leeds. Went to Ellen Road, famous Ellen Road. Um, I used to work near there. And drive past that a lot. Uh, we got beat 2-0 by Leeds. Ooh. I'm kicking off the campaign at home, which is good. Hopefully we can break that duct. We always seem to fail in the first game. But we'll be playing Cardiff in an episode... Um, 37 the next one I might have played Blackpool so we might have come up against Sir Brett Dalton but things have happened Sir Brett the hero of Central is a god for us guys I know we all love him don't we most of you have got uh, Dalton on the back of your shirt and all that and um, he went to Blackpool in January played one game didn't play him don't know why he went don't know why they bothered trying to sign him wasted six months of his career he's getting on a bit um, he's gone to Chester on a free. And talking of that stadium, you remember how happy I was that it's been announced. But we're not a rich team, and I did wonder how we were going to do it. And we've got grants and all sorts of stuff going on. Um, part of the 30 million, is it 30 million, something like that? 12 million of it 
Uh, it might be 20 million, and 12 million of it is coming from a bank loan, which I instantly said, we're skin. Well, it's going to cost us 110 grand a month. So Bournemouth, by the looks of it, I think, survived by the skin of the teeth in the Premier League last year, but it wasn't enough to keep the manager in the job. Uh, and they came to me, AD Clifford, invited me to attend an interview. I obviously said no. I mean, Central, what do you mean, man? Not Premier League TV money, but it's the best TV money we've ever had. Uh, we get 3.1 million for the EFL Championship TV, right? So that's going to pay off a quarter of that bank loan, isn't it? But as always, I'm going to try and spend some money, especially when it came to bonuses. I've always tried to give them the, the biggest bonus, give them that extra incentive to do well in the Cups and the league. The expectations from the board, they're not messing, are they? Look at this for pressure. Paul Maguire, the boss, right boss, wants us to win promotion, so he's not bothered about winning the league. That can be playoff spot. Oh, you just got it. I, mean, I know I've done well, my track record speaks for itself, but I didn't expect instant, I want you to get in the Premier League straight away. Let's get on to the fun bit, and that's the transfers. And we're going to go through the squad, and I'll tell you what my thinking time behind the squad, and who's playing in what position um, this season. But we have had five players leave, uh, first team players, and we've only brought four players in. I have released a lot of players, I'm not sure, they're not on this list, I could show you if you really wanted to, but they're nobody's majority. They're like 20, 19, 20 year olds, like one, two stars. Two of the lads that aren't here though, are two of my loans from last year. We'll have a look at them first. And the first player is Freddie Harris. I did try and sign them all, they had the money for any of them. Um, the three main loan players, Harris was the centre half, uh, who played very well for me last year. Does that definitely deserve to go back with us. So I thought I'd be a bit cheeky. I don't know if it's because he's been for a season. I had the option to for two seasons. They've said yeah. Next up is the big lad, Richard McGee, someone I really want to sign, mainly because he's six foot five, is a beast. He played fantastic last year. He's got finishing of 17. He's a freaking asset. He's only 19 years old for Chelsea. Plays for Chelsea. We've just shot about half a million quid. Great, great player. Um again, try to sign him. Couldn't afford what they wanted. They were up for selling him, but it's something silly, more silly money. Um, so putting for the loan again and we've got a two year deal as well now the third loan signing one I really really wanted because he's top top class is Dijon Tessic the right back who played the entire season for us last year it was fantastic um, they accepted the loans for a year yep they accepted a two year loan they accepted a bid that I put him for him they didn't even want stupid money for him he just does not want to come I just don't want to give up hope but I had to turn to someone else and that's the first player we're going to look at. And that is right back, Sebastian Chan. And I think he's alright. I'm pretty happy with him. Sometimes you're forced to look elsewhere. And we found this lad is worth about half of what Tessic is. But, and he's a year younger. But when it comes to his stats, he's actually not that different. And I'm pretty happy with him, especially his pace. Next up is Andy Treacher. And the centre half, and a player I'm really happy with. 19 years old. Got a decent potential ability, good physicals, great tackling, got a few things I can work on, but I think it's, for what we are, I'm happy with this. I'm, I don't want to sign real players if I can help it. I don't want to sign old players, I want to sign young players where you can develop and grow together. And that's been the, the main plan so far. Um, it's just youth, 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 and he fits the bill, and I think he's going to be a great centre half. And that gives me Buchanan, Treacher, and we've got Harrison Long for two years. I'm happy, got three really good centre halves. Next up is another defender, um, and as I go through the squad, I'll explain why I've gone for a left back. Um, and I've got this lad on loan from Spurs, um, he's a good lad, good player. I think he'll do us a decent job. We've got Walder, who's 25, who's probably still going to be a starter, but I reckon Adrian uh, Welpdale. I think he'll push him for a place, but it's good to have competition for places, isn't it? So I'm pretty happy. And the last player we brought in is another loan. So we've signed two, loan two. Um, I, I did say ages ago that I didn't want to try and loan, but last year loans really worked for us. I've gone for it again, especially they don't cost you much money. Um, we've got this lad from Everton, he's a striker. Six foot one, great finishing. Um, I think he's good. He's got a bit of pace as well. Advanced forward. Uh, he had a cracking season for Plymouth last year. 25 goals in 38 games on loan for them. So I'm hoping he can do the same for us. And here's Tommy T. I like him, he's 20. It's just his technicals aren't great. And when I thought, I've got I've got Shelley, and I've got McGee. Then we've got Dima around his quality. I've got this new lad as well from Everton. That's four good strikers. 
and then I thought, I've got offered for Tommy, and I thought, let's let him go out and play some proper football. I've got it in his deal that I can bring him back if I need him. And if some worst case scenario happens, we can just bring Tommy T back on. The next player to leave is Joe Platt. I know, it's mental, isn't it? He's been the captain since day one. He's a good centre half, but he's 29. I think he's deteriorating a bit. And if he'd have stayed, he'd, he, I think he was, he'd have been fifth choice centre half. I just thought, get rid of him. Let's move the captaincy onto somebody else, which I'll show you later, which I'm really chuffed with. And uh, let him go and play some football because he's not going to play for me much this year. He didn't play much for me last year. Him and Corker sat out most of the season behind Harrison Buchanan, and that's only going to happen again. And he's got his partner in crime with him. Stephen Corker has also gone to Plymouth. Random Plymouth are trying to sign their players up, man. And um, they were a good centre of partnership in League Two. Um, so fair play might do well them two back together they're both 29 they've got years left in them another player to leave and only the hardcore of you amongst you might remember him he did have a little moment where he's in the team for a bit especially as a backup centre half Michael Moore played a few games not doing anything for a couple of years I'll be honest with you um, I think he was on loan last year at Stockport yeah so yeah 75 grand I got for him and now he's worth 175 grand why is he going to West Brom West Brom are a Premier League team other players to leave is Craig Connolly, 20 years old, right winger. Got lo he had loads of promise. I mean, look at his physicals. He's quick as anything. He just can't. He can't get in the team behind Bob and Agbo and, and Chalky. He got no chance. 20 years old. I think he had a year left on his deal. Uh, Wolves came in for a couple of quid. <laughs> Sack it. Let's just get rid of him. Um, and there is another player in a similar situation who's actually in the process at the minute of leaving as well. And that player is 19-year-old Lee Finlay, which I'm, I'm pretty gutted about. Because he can play properly as a centre half, properly defensive mid midfield. I was going to give him more game time this year just because of his potential. Um, he's only got a year left on his deal. You can see that at the top there. You know, look, he won't sign a new one. And loads of teams want him. Now, I'm not going to get a lot of money for him. If we go back here, you'll see. We're not going to look what? 275. I thought for a player that's never really played for me, just over a quarter of a million. And look at the teams that are in for him. So with Platt going, I'm pleased to announce we have a new club captain and that is Jakey Bird. We all love a bit of Jakey Bird, he's an absolute legend. I think he's been um, assistant vice captain for a while. But buzzing, he's a team leader and everything now, he's really earned his, his stripes because he came through from the start, he's worked his way up, he's become one of the best passers of the ball I've ever seen. The bookmakers and my chairman have probably got more faith than I did in this team and I've got faith in them, don't get me wrong, they're good. This is the championship, we're going to be playing teams in the Premier League last year. But the Bookies have got us sixth. They've got us getting in the playoffs, haven't they? So, that's some pressure, man. Looking at the money at the minute, we're not in the red, which is good. I've got three and a half million to spend, but there's no, I don't think I need to spend it. We'll go through the squad in a second. Um, overall balance, 2.8 million. Let's have a look at that debt, though. And there you go. Look at that. Wowzers. Let's try and get through the squad and I'll show you what's what and why I'm going with what I'm going with. <laughs> right, Ian O'Keefe, obviously, he's number one. But when it comes to potential, he's not got the well, he's not got as much as he as Whittle. But it's just developed and grown before our very eyes. And um, so he's probably gonna definitely be number one. But Matt's still a good keeper and got the, all the basis of it being a better keeper, so hopefully he's gonna push a bit more this year, more than he did last year. But right, moving on to the defence. Um, and I've got it obviously arranged by ability. I'm going to have a look at James first. James Buchanan, beast of a player. With 350 grand now. But three years left on his deal. 19 years old. Couldn't be happier with him. Um, obviously, Freddie Harris, his partner in crime, who we now have on loan for another two years, which is fantastic. Then we've got Sebastian Chan, who showed you earlier. He's my new right back again. Really happy with Seb. And Andy Treacher, again, the new um, vice captain. He's a good player. I like him. Really happy. Look how brave he is. Love that. Uh, and then we've got Adrian, who is the new left back, who hopefully will push Walder. But we'll have to wait and see about that. And here is Liam Walder, who, again, he's a good lad. 25, been with him from the start. He's, stat wise, he's decent. I think he's going to be fine. Uh, and then this lad, Jack, is in, he's from my youth team. And I think he's good enough to be my fourth centre half. He's just got freaking injured for. Oh. Three months. This is me thinking. Backup wise, I've got two left backs and we've got a right back. Now I did that because Betts here, Harley Betts, he was a bit nappy at the minute, but tough. 
He's a good squad player. I don't mind him. He can play left back or right back. So he was a backup left back last year. I'm moving him to be backup right back this year. And I was going to see Chris McDonald, you know, the big six foot five centre half right back. He's 32. He's been with me from the start. Not the greatest. He's okay. I was going to see if I could get rid of him, get something for him. Um, but with the injury to John, the new kid, I'm keeping Chris McDonald. And then just as a squadder, because he's he's a good young lad, I think he's got promise. He's Brendan Pitcher, who's a backup left back. Onto the midfield, and at the top, we've got Chris Chalk, everyone's favourite winger. Natural now on the left as well as the right. Uh, next up from the midfield is Lewis Foreman. Lewis, it's getting better every year. Been playing in the first team since he was, what, 15 at school? He's now 18 years old. He can go out for a beer now with the boys. Edwards, he's my backup attacking centre in the midfielder. Um, played more games toward the end of last year. I like him. The guy who stops him playing all the time, though, is obviously Captain Marvel, the new captain of the club, Jakey Bird. Look at his passing. I love him. Brilliant. Can run all day long. And then we've got Bobby. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Everyone loves Bob. Especially James. James loves Bob. Um, but yeah, great right winger. Kosovan, I picked up. Can't say his name, his real name. From a non league club, and he's just a beast. Uh, and then we've got Lynchy, back up left winger, who in his own right is a starter. Brilliant player. Agbo, who is my back up right winger now. Again, look, has got pace can cross it I and mean, they're not world beaters these lads but the solid central players who know each other uh, Russell Swift the player I, I like Russell now he don't get in the team all the time because of Lewis but great central midfielder on to my strikers and straight at the top he's 19 year old Mark Shelley intelligent player I love him he's absolutely brilliant look how good he is look at his finishing oh, we've, got, we've got a Premier League player here next up is Richard McGee who beast I love this guy Again, great finisher. Six foot five. Them two are going to be scary. Uh, Dean Moran, who's injured at the minute. What's he injured with? Eight days. Bit of a dodgy knee. Uh, beast, in it? Again, come through the academy. Proved his worth. Six foot. I like him a lot. He can score a goal. Uh, and then we've obviously got Kevin Riley, who I really like. So we'll just have a quick look at the dynamics. And, you know, things have changed. Oh, so we've got three team leaders now, Walder and Moran, who've been here for a long, long time, and Jakey Bird is the captain. I, I'm always learning something new. Did you know you could do this? I didn't know. Click your name and look at that. 23 players support you. Three players have no real opinion of you, and they're new guys, and no players oppose you. That is a strong way to be going into a new season. I think I've shown you all the key things I need to show you this summer. Um, it's the 7th of August. We're going to be playing the opener against Cardiff. Um, and I'll be honest with you, we won't have much to talk about in the next episode, will we? We've got no highlights or nothing. So, I think it's going to be the first of the series. We'll do a double live call. And obviously that double live call will be Cardiff at home. And then we'll be playing in the EFL Cup first round against Blackpool in the second game. Just gives us something to do. I'll we'll have to fill the episode out somehow. Uh, and then in between that, I can maybe update you on my staff because I do plan on making some staff changes and any other transfers that happen. So there we go. Thanks for joining me for episode 36, the uh, summer special four. It was special, wasn't it? Um, I'd love to know, hardcore subscribers and uh, viewers out there, what do you think of our chances are this year? Do you agree with the bookies? Do you agree with my chairman? Um, looking at my squad and its ability, knowing the players as you know them and looking at the new players that have come in. Um, do you think we can do it? Thanks for watching. I really appreciate all the support in the series so far. I can't believe we've got to episode 36. I can't believe we're in the championship. I can't believe we can smell the Premier League. This is exciting because I've got some good stuff coming. If we ever get in the Premier League, this whole series is going to go up a level. Trust me, I've got some exciting things planned. I'm just saving them for the Premier League. That's where, it, that's where the top end stuff is. So I've been booed. As always, you've been great. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. And I'll see you later.